So, as a part of this, every single piece we try to label, give some kind of a designation. I'm hoping to put together a sort of a catalog, you might say, a parts list of all the car. And uh, you have to say this is like number two end, uh, trolley catcher support board or something like that. There's no, uh, there's some terminology that's common, but a lot of it we'll have to make up for our own purposes here. So we have to be careful we don't mix up things here. One of the things we've found is that stuff has gotten lost over the years. The, as I said, the pilot for the number one end, I know it was on the car because I've seen pictures of it, but it, it wasn't very good. But over the years, some other parts have disappeared, and now on the deck. Locomotive 100 is a steeple cab, and steeple cab is derived by somebody's imagination. Basically, you've got the steeple, which is the center, the control house, so to speak, sitting on this flat deck. So you basically have, this car can be divided into three basic areas with some subsets. First of all, you have the cab, then you have the deck, and if the cab were to be removed, you just have a big open flat car here, and then you have underneath the mechanical parts, which is the trucks which contain the motors. And uh, as part of this whole operation, we're going to separate that so we can work on it. Now, what you see right in front of you is a deck, which is open and uh, obviously exposed to the weather. And I know that this wood that I have my hands on is not original. It's something that was put on back in the 1950s when we used this car to build what we call the terminal, which was a small operation we had over on Route 1 for a while when we thought that uh, there would be more business over there because it was right within sight of um, many more people driving by. And it was, you, uh, I think it's hemlock that was just put on with large nails. What was here originally, uh, we hope to be able to see by looking at the um, cab inside, which has the original floor in it. So we'll take this off and uh, replace it entirely. Undoubtedly, we'll replace almost all of the floor unless we save one or two token boards, and that's, that's a, something I should mention. We try where we can to save as much of the original as we can. In some cases, it's impossible. Uh, for instance, you have a piece like this, which is a piece of the brake rigging, nothing to do with wood, but this was overstrained at some point. It's supposed to be a nice round hole here. Well, it's broken. Looking at it the other way, if you can see how thin it is, it's worn, worn thin. Will we replace this? Yes. Will we keep it? Well, somewhere in its in our uh, archives, we'll keep it because it it does show what they have the uh, this type of uh, metal it was used. Uh, it was some kind of a wrought iron, uh, not like the kind of steel we use today. So, anyway, the the deck will be taken off. Now, when we do take the deck off, it will expose other things that. Uh, we don't know how solid it is underneath. And I think at this point, maybe we want to go down to the other end because then we can see some of this. Uh